that before you. Okay. It's running uh, an application in the head of the camera. And essentially what this allows to do is give us a count in and a count out. So we both step out of the scene. We can walk through. So you get the count in, you get the count out. So also what you can do from here is you can view the statistical information. So what we've got here is all the ins and the outs. We've got it on a daily basis, okay. we've got it on a weekly basis, and then you can drill straight down through that. So from here, we could then start to export the data in various different formats. Okay, so this is one specific business intelligence application that sits in the head. The other application that we want to look at is the face detection, age and gender, uh, gender demographic. So essentially what this is going to do, very close to the camera itself, it's going to get me and it's going to profile me. Yeah, so it's going to profile me between the age of 40 and 45, in male and female. Essentially what we do is we get the data from all these different sensors and then we push all that data into the cloud and we get it appearing on the dashboard as you see here. So directly from the dashboard, we've got various different uh, analytics that we can run through. It's actually very clear and simple. It's very, analytics. yeah, it's very, very intuitive, very intuitive. So if we look at uh, demographics, so what we're going to see here is we're going to get a rolling four weeks previous to count versus last year. In this scenario, we're looking at all these different locations. So we've got tell 10 different locations. Uh, we're breaking it down between male, female. female, and then very simply you can just hover over the line and it's going to give you the relevant data. Okay. So also from the dashboard, we've got various different filters that can be bespoke configured for any clients. So if we look at the filters here, So from the filters, we can say how many, week, how many weeks we want to look at. We want to look at a day, one week, okay. four weeks, two months, three months. Compare the corresponding year. We can then look at all the different metrics, customers coming in, trend applications. But also with this now, we can start to import um, POS revenue data. So we can look at the amount of people that came in within a, a given period of time. We can have a look at a conversion ratio versus the amount of people in the store. We can profile the male, female. Given a demographic, we can have a look at where they went in the store. Yep. We can track them within the store, and um, also as well with the facial demographic, and um, we can now push that into um, digital signage platforms. So we can actually change the digital signage display based on the demographic of the person that's actually in front of the individual itself as well. So the key to this is an application sitting in the camera, similar to an application sitting on a smartphone device, and okay. um, pulling all this business intelligence data together and then pushing it all directly up into the cloud. So the client can view this dashboard anywhere. Essentially, the licensing model is done on a reoccurring revenue basis. So they'll have an initial upfront cost for one year, and then after that, it'll be um, a reoccurring cost every, uh, every month. Okay. Is that okay? And that's per head or per camera head? Or that's, per that's per device, per sensor. Per device. Yeah, per sensor. So the focus here is very much on business intelligence. Um, as opposed to standard loss prevention and how we can add value um, to the retailer. Excellent, thank you very much. No problem, thank you. I really appreciate it, I'll buy 1200 of them. Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs>